There's been a few different ideas being churned out at the rumour mill lately regarding spin-offs of the one and only SpongeBob SquarePants, and whether a spin-off would even happen. After the announcement of the first spin-off, Camp Coral, there's been rumours of a huge multi-million dollar deal being made for a musical series starring Squidward, which was never officially confirmed, but with deals now reportedly being confirmed, SpongeBob SquarePants is getting a second spin-off show. But the attention's being turned to SpongeBob's lovable pink sidekick, Patrick Starr, in the aptly named The Patrick Starr Show. But it hasn't been a smooth road, for news of this announcement has definitely rubbed a lot of fans the wrong way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Talks of a SpongeBob spin-off have been around ever since the show initially aired in 1999, as it made sense to cash in on the gigantic success of SpongeBob, who quickly became a household name. But the reason nothing came of it was simply because the show's creator Steven Hillenberg, who tragically died of a neurodegenerative disease in November 2018, didn't want there to be any spin-offs of the main show. In a 2009 interview, Hillenberg said, quote, This show is about SpongeBob. He's the core element, and it's about how he relates to the other characters. Patrick by himself might be a bit too much, so I don't see any spin offs. End quote. Shortly after Hillenberg's death in early 2019, president of Nickelodeon Brian Robbins announced that Nickelodeon would be releasing its first spin offs with SpongeBob SquarePants characters. The first of which being Camp Coral, SpongeBob's Under Years, which is a 3D animated version of SpongeBob, which acts as a kind of prequel to the main show. The show has since been greenlit for 13 episodes, and instead of being released by Nickelodeon, the show has been given to CBS to distribute on their streaming platform in early 2021. SpongeBob fans were obviously upset that Nickelodeon would so quickly greenlight a project that the creator didn't believe in, and rightfully so. To add insult to injury, Hillenberg also said that he didn't want to do another movie. The third SpongeBob movie is now set for release. But despite the backlash, the latest Patrick spin off already has on board the same creative team as the Mothership show, and voiceover recording sessions have begun for the show's first season, which has also been confirmed to contain 13 episodes. But what will the show actually be about? Well, Deadline.com broke the news saying, quote, According to sources, the Patrick Star show is in the vein of the Larry Sanders show and comedy Bang Bang, with Patrick hosting his own late night talk show. I hear the series would revolve around Patrick and his family. Fagabucky is being joined by a largely new cast voicing new characters, with SpongeBob cast members expected to make occasional appearances, reprising their roles, end quote. For those that don't know, The Larry Sanders Show is a fake talk show slash sitcom from the 90s that had celebrities come on and play, I guess, exaggerated versions of themselves. And I guess it's not that hard to picture the cast of SpongeBob doing something similar. But my doubts come from an entire show being made up of this. Sure, maybe an episode or two, but a whole series? I don't see a huge audience for that, and it sounds like the concept could go over the heads of little kids who are now looking to other shows like PJ Masks and Paw Patrol. But I guess Nickelodeon could start to own their more accurate demographic of nostalgic millennials. That is something worth milking. And with all the controversy spiralling around Ellen DeGeneres at the moment, forget James Corden, maybe they could tap Patrick to step in and take over. But referring back to Hillenberg's thoughts on the matter, Patrick is a lot by himself, and a lot of the time relies on SpongeBob's back and forth. I do wonder how such a big personality would go fending for himself without the supporting cast, but I guess everyone loves Patrick, and maybe that's enough to float the show in its own boat. Who knows? But does this mean that they're going to do what Family Guy did with the Cleveland show and have him exit the main show whilst the spin-off aired? Somehow, I doubt that. There's not yet been a release date, and with the current state of the entertainment industry, it's difficult to lock in anything. But are you excited for Patrick Starr to be given his own talk show? Do you think it will really give us any more than what could be given on the main show? Or do you think that the show could be boycotted altogether due to the wishes of SpongeBob's creator? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. But be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.